Hi, this is our third video in our Worship at Home series, and I'm Kathy Emmons. We're worshiping in the season of Eastertide, and for more information on that, you can check out my first video right here. And for my recommendations on how to worship at home, especially in these crazy times, you can watch video two, which is right up there. Now that we've established what Easter Tide is and how to worship at home, I want to give you some more recommendations on ways to watch and listen and enrich your worship at home. Last week, I recommended Kanye West's Sunday Service Collective's concert that took place on March 1st in Paris. I hope you got a chance to watch some of it, and I hope you gained a lot from the experience. So for this week, let's switch from gospel music to classical music, and I want to recommend Andrea Bocelli's live Easter concert from Milan. As I said, this video aired live this past Easter 2020, and it garnered an unbelievable live audience. The live stream peaked at more than 2.8 million concurrent viewers. This set the all-time record for the largest simultaneous audience for a classical live stream in YouTube history. And if that isn't impressive enough, it was also one of the largest all-time live stream audiences to watch a performance on YouTube, period. All in all, the video was viewed more than 35 million times, including, if you can believe this, a mind-boggling 28 million views just in the 24 hours of the Easter holiday. Other than the music, the most arresting thing about it is seeing Andrea Bocelli singing alone in the cathedral in Milan, only with his accompanist present. Milan, of course, was the epicenter of the outbreak of the coronavirus in Italy, and so the performance is paired with aerial footage of Milan and the streets empty. One of the things I found most meaningful about the performance is the individuality of it, that there is an element of worship where we are all together, where the public comes and we are families, friends, brothers and sisters, but there is an element of worship that is intensely personal, just one of us before our God. As you prepare to watch the video, here are a couple things that you might want to look for. One. This is classical music. How is it different lyrically and musically than what you practice? Two, how does a different language impact your worship? Three, does setting impact your worship? How does video of an empty cathedral impact you? And four, how is the reality of the resurrection of Christ central to the performance? This is a short performance by Andrea Bocelli, and even if classical music isn't your thing, I urge you to stick with it and give it a try. Andrea Bocelli performs five pieces, the last of which is a common one that I know you'll recognize. It is spectacularly beautiful. If you can't watch the whole performance, I urge you to fast forward to the end and watch the last song. So here's the video. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it reveals something beautiful and meaningful about the world we live in and the God who rules it. Jesus indeed is alive. See you next time, Belfield.